The American Heart Association issued guidelines for sudden cardiac death screening in student athletes 15 years ago and reaffirmed them in 2007. Yet today, less than 6% of physicians fully follow the national guidelines. Less than half are aware of them. That's according to a survey conducted in Washington state. It's a great study and it was a great abstract and it points out a problem not just in Washington but uh, across the country of trying to get providers to follow published guidelines for screening or for managing different illnesses. It's a, it's a difficult thing to get the message out to all the people that need to have the information. The recommended guidelines cover 12 points, but many screening forms fail to incorporate them all. When speaking with physicians and asking what they think about these forms, they're less concerned about the length of the form, but rather the quality of the form and the standardization of the form. Even if a form is maybe 33% longer, if it's done the same way every time, they become very efficient at what they're doing. There is also need for more evidence. What we really need to do is begin to develop registries to begin to look at, are these screening questions the best? If not, which ones are better? And are there any other tests that should be included as a part of screening? And we just don't have the information to make cogent arguments to change what we're doing right now. In the meantime, cardiologists can play an important role. A local cardiologists should consider talking to the athletic directors at the local high schools and finding out what organizations do they belong to, um, what do they think they can do, what do they need. And I think if we're in partnership with them and with parent groups to try and, and follow current guidelines, which is the best information we have, then I think that's probably the best way to start, is go to the folks who want screening. Nobody wants a sudden event on a playing field. No one wants a child to be ill. So everyone's on the same page, and then we just need to get organized and um, be more thorough. This is Nassim Miller.